As New Jersey assesses its risk from climate change in the wake of Hurricane Sandy, an analysis of the hazards faced by socially vulnerable populations can shed further light on needed state mitigation and evacuation policies. The purpose of this video is to identify risks faced by the elderly population in New Jersey with a focus on flooding and storm surges. Three major characteristics define social vulnerability among the elderly, defined here as people over 65 years old. One, limited mobility. Two, compromised mental and physical health. And three, reduced resources. Seniors face a wide range of challenges during disasters. They may be geographically isolated or living alone, making it difficult for emergency responders to identify their location. Physically impaired seniors may require the use of elevators, which might not work during a flood or power outage. Seniors who have difficulty hearing or seeing might have problems following evacuation instructions or seeking help. Furthermore, seniors may not have adequate transportation options, such as access to a car or public transit, and may not be able to travel by foot to find food, shelter, or medical services. In addition, Extreme temperatures, stress, and a prolonged lack of food and water can exacerbate pre-existing health conditions of seniors. Hospitals and emergency centers may be temporarily unavailable, and seniors may require the assistance of caregivers who are unable to reach them. These problems are compounded in New Jersey because a disproportionate number of seniors live in counties subject to storm surges and floods, both of which are expected to become more intense due to climate change, including sea level rise. Research in New Jersey points to high concentrations of senior populations coinciding with flood-prone lands along almost the entirety of the New Jersey coastline. Data compiled at Rutgers University indicates that Ocean, Monmouth, and Bergen counties have the highest total number of seniors within coastal flood exposure areas. Cape May, Salem, and Atlantic counties have a high percentage of seniors within coastal flood exposure areas. The distribution of hospitals and nursing homes should also be considered. Out of 147 hospitals in New Jersey, 13 are located within the coastal flood exposure area. Out of 548 nursing homes in New Jersey, 26 are located within the coastal flood exposure area. Counties with a large number of critical care facilities in the area of potential coastal flood risk include Atlantic, with four hospitals, Cape May, with seven nursing facilities, Hudson with five hospitals, and Monmouth and Salem counties with four nursing facilities each. Preliminary analysis seems to indicate that many New Jersey counties have high concentrations of nursing home populations and or nursing home facilities that lie either directly in or in close proximity to flood-prone lands. Furthermore, Although hospitals built in New Jersey from the late 1970s to mid-1980s must adhere to locally adopted floodplain management regulations and the state building codes that account for 1% annual chance flood events, older facilities built before individual communities began regulating flood hazard areas may not have had the same flood proofing and mitigation standards, which may put them more at risk. New Jersey is located in a hurricane hazard area and is vulnerable to an increase in coastal and inland flooding as a result of climate change. Socially vulnerable populations are disproportionately more vulnerable at all stages of a catastrophic event, with the excess mortality rate of seniors in natural disasters at 10 times that of younger populations. Seniors who live in Atlantic, Burlington, Cape May, Salem, and Monmouth counties have a higher potential impact from risks associated with coastal flooding and storm surges than other counties in New Jersey. Critical care facilities within these counties are also potentially vulnerable to the same risks from flooding. Communities can take active steps towards developing resiliency and recovery plans for their socially vulnerable populations. FEMA recommends that communities use flood hazard maps to determine their most recent flood insurance requirements and understand flood risks. FEMA has also issued recommendations for critical care facilities to be located outside all high-risk flood areas, including zones V and A. 
the AARP, recommends that seniors prepare for natural disasters by establishing a support network, gathering emergency contact information of people in their social safety net, and preparing an emergency kit with backup medications and supplies. Rutgers researchers have recommended five additional risk management responses. One, while evacuation planning and sheltering has improved in New Jersey, there is still a gap in post-event recovery for displaced seniors, many of whom suffer from mental and physical health symptoms. Many seniors are unable or unwilling to be evacuated. Plans for sheltering in place are needed that specifically address the needs of vulnerable populations. Two, the healthcare system was heavily stressed by Sandy. It needs systematic assessment with regard to electrical power and backup systems and capacity to move people between the facilities. Three, seniors must not be cut off from caregivers. Although some seniors may resist communication devices, they should be persuaded to use them so physicians, pharmacists, and caregivers can reach them. Four, Infrastructure such as electrical power, water, sewer, and communications is critical for dependent seniors. Systematic efforts are needed to prioritize critical infrastructure needs, especially those on which vulnerable populations depend. And five, a rational approach to minimizing risk is to restrict permitting new facilities that cater to seniors in highly vulnerable locations and to require upgrades of those that currently exist, especially if they have plans to expand. As New Jersey's population ages in place, preparatory actions need to be taken to ensure the health and well-being of residents so that current and future populations will be protected.